About a month after Apple released their latest iPhones, the promised portrait mode is now made available to iPhone 7 Plus owners with the iOS 10.1 update. We decided to put the iPhone 7 Plus to the test and see how it compares to a professional DSLR camera. To use this new feature, your subject needs to be within 8 feet. If they are too close or too far, your iPhone will let you know which way to move for it to work. As soon as the mode is activated, you'll instantly see the background blur providing better looking portraits that mimic using a large sensor camera. Comparing the portrait mode to Canon's latest full frame DSLR, the iPhone 7 Plus can provide some great images. At medium distances, the background blur is similar to using an f4 aperture on a full frame camera with a 50mm lens. Getting closer to the subject will provide more background blur or a bit less blur in wider shots. Most of the images we took looked fairly good, but sometimes the edges of the blur effect were really noticeable. Since this is a software feature, Apple will likely enhance its accuracy in future updates. The portrait mode isn't great in low light since the telephoto lens is paired to a smaller sensor with a smaller aperture, and if it gets too dark, the portrait mode will be disabled. Even though it does a good job at blurring out the background behind your subject, there are some areas that it can't compete with the DSLR. One is bokeh balls that appear when lights are present in a background, and the other is blurring out objects in the foreground, like you see in this shot. Even though the iPhone won't be replacing professional cameras anytime soon, Apple's portrait mode is an amazing feature to have when you want to isolate your subject, and really sets the iPhone 7 Plus apart from other smartphones. For more reviews, news, and how-tos, check out AppleInsider.com and subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.